Hello everyone and welcome back to part 6 of the Xamarin Forms list tutorial. So we're actually going to jump in to the UI. We're going to make the list look great. I mean right now we don't have much going on. We just have a, just a really basic list view. We have a text cell. So literally the only thing we can put in here is text. Um, and there's really nothing going on. Everything here is just completely basic, and I thought we were running this, but I guess not. All right, so we're actually going to go through, and we're going to review what we have so far. All right. And again, take a look at that. Just very, very basic. Nothing going on. Whoa, hey now. Crazy. All right. So yeah, we hit add item and we get a few items coming up. And just ex again, extremely basic. And um, as you know, as that looks decent, we need it to look great. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the tools to make it look however you want. So um, if you do not know XAML that well, then this really isn't the video for you. If you have a fairly decent understanding of it, then this should be just fine. But if you're coming in here and you don't have any idea how to use XAML at all, then I would highly recommend looking at the documentation and checking out some other tutorials first. That way you can get the most out of this tutorial. All right, so let's get going. So inside the data template, instead of the text cell, we're actually gonna do a view cell, all right? Now, inside the view cell, this view cell allows us to kinda of do whatever we want, so, so we're just going to wrap it all in a frame, so we can make this frame look however we want. In fact, um, let's actually, so right now we have the frame, let's go ahead and give this frame a margin, and we'll give it a margin of like 30. And, yeah, actually, that, that should be fine. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put a stack layout in here because we want multiple controls, multiple things going on instead of just a name. So, all right, let's do like what we did, our label. And we're going to go ahead and bind that back to name. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So we have literally exactly what we had going on before. But let's go ahead and run this, and you're going to see an error. Because what happens is the list view is still set on its standard height. So if we have a margin of 30, that's going to completely take out the entire list view. So we can press add item all we want, and it's not we're not getting anything. So we see it moving, but again, the margin is so big that there's more than, I mean, we're taking up too much space or we're putting too much margin for how much space we have allocated. So what we need to do is in the list view, we need to set has uneven rows to true. This will allow it to adjust the size of the rows. All right. Awesome. So, and then let's take, again, let's take out the, uh, those separators, the separator visibility. We're just going to set to none. All right. And then let's actually throw on a few controls. So we let's throw on a slider and then let's go ahead and throw on a switch as well. Okay. So now we have our card ready to go. And um, we should be looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and give it a good run. And we'll see what we get now. All right. We'll go ahead and hit add item. And what do you know? There it is. We have our slider. We have our switch. And we do that multiple times. All right. So what's cool is you can actually... Um, you can put a grid in here, so you can do multiple items um, so next to each other, below each other, what have you. Um, you can do a lot of interesting things with this, but this is the structure that you can actually turn your standard list into something actually very interesting. So, 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. It was a quickie, but it is very essential if you want to make your lists look really good as well as function really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and then in the uh, next video, we will go ahead and talk about adding multiple items into your model and then showing them on the list as well. So we're going to really start diving into some very interesting topics with lists. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.